Welcome back to Stick War Legacy. Xenophon has united the tribes. It seems like this is all about Spiritans, so I'm thinking we need the best Spiritans in the game. And those are the Lava Spiritans. So we put all of our upgrades into the Lava Spiritans. Let's see if we can't pull out a win here. So first things first, Miner. Miner, Spearton. We had just enough money. This is a duel, so it's not like we're going to be attacking, or rather be attacked right off the bat, but we do know the savages are coming. Now, is he going to stop at his front line? Yes, he is. He's going to stamp his spear into the ground, saying, you know what, we're, we're, we're going to hold out here for a little bit. And, oh, okay, Xenophon is here. Xenophon is like the giant king here. I mean... As long as he doesn't attack with that huge, huge sword. I feel like he's got to have a cooler... Oh my god, we have a huge army. This is ridiculous. Our army dwarfs theirs. Why don't we just attack right off the bat? And I'm going to use this time to get more miners. This level seems like... Is this real? This can't be real, right? We could easily dispatch Xenophon, his two sword wrath bodyguards, and his singular spearton. Now we'll just retreat. Hopefully not take any arrows. Ooh, that guy got hit in the Achilles heel, but you saw how little damage it really did to him. What do you mean, like... Aren't we gifted Spearton Madness? Were we already gifted it and I just, like, missed it? Because this seems like an incredibly, incredibly weak army. I think instead of, like, upgrading your Spearton's, since the Elite Spearton's just get their full upgrades anyway, we probably should have upgraded maybe our miners and then archers so that our archers could fire behind this beautiful strong line of staunch spears and shields. But this might be the easiest okay. mission I've ever played actually. And in, in, in fact, I think what we should try to do is just like play it again and then see if we can't just attack from the beginning and just overwhelm the army and do a quick rush. I'm not sure what their reinforcements are going to be, but the great general Xenophon is dead. Xenophon was like an ancient uh, Greek general. I thought he was famous for like leading an army of 10,000 Greek mercenaries in Persia and something happened. Like you, you, I would recommend looking it up. Oh, you got a giant? That's cool. All right. So we should just be able to... Spirits and Madness. We're gonna do extra damage. Yeah, they have a giant. But it doesn't matter. We just wiped out everybody. We won't even kill the giant. We're just gonna kill their statue. This might be the easiest mission I've ever played. Alright, uh, we're gonna try to attack it right off the beginning here. And we're gonna go mining and then archers. Because if we're gifted an army, then I should use all of my original gold to get up to seven miners as quickly as possible. And then from there, try to get out an archer or two before we get our reinforcements. Cause Xenophon is coming. Now we got fire, which honestly was a waste for archer upgrades. Not the best skin choice, I do realize that. Xenophon is here, okay. So the trick is, do we have enough time to get three archers out before my army gets here? No, we were able to get two, but maybe we could have adjusted the miners. Attack. And you know what? We're just going to go in and attack. All right, we got three, sort of. So Xenophon versus these guys. They are immediately retreating. That means Xenophon is going to join the defense. But I want to see if you can't just attack right off the bat, right? And what we'll do is we, once they get their reinforcements, we'll pull out... And then I'm going to use Spirit and Madness so we throw all of our spears at the enemy reinforcements. So now... Throw the spears. I don't know what the spears hit. There's a lot of dudes that are still alive. Xenophon is strong, so is the giant. But we should be doing extra damage. Furthermore... If we can maneuver one of our soldiers behind to hit this wizard. Stab him in the back with a pointy sword. And maybe a little bit more of tactical remaneuvering. Is this enough? I guess not.
There we go, come on. Don't kill the archer, kill the wizard. I mean, I guess the archer's good to die too. There goes the wizard. And we are almost out of spear tins, but it does look like you can attack this way. Furthermore, we didn't use the right archers because they have damage reflect. And damage reflect is useless on an archer because by the time they get stabbed once or twice, well, they're going to go down. So I think ice archers would actually pair well with this. But this might be one of the easiest challenges. I maintain, I, I would like to hear your thoughts on it, but it's very interesting. All right, so what we're gonna do is change to ice so it complements. And we want full upgrade on those guys. And now I'm thinking what we could do is once we get out the four miners, maybe a little bit of a miner rush. Okay, so we do get a Spirited Madness right at the beginning. So feel free to use it. Little miner rush. We got the single archer. There's Xenophon. The goal is to get... Ooh, this time we're getting three archers out before they attack. Or rather, before we get the reinforcements. Actually, four. So that's the build order there. Don't go max miners off the beginning. Great, and we also did a minor rush. And let's wait for this fourth one. And go. So we delayed the attack by just a little bit this time, but I did want these frosty boys to maybe hit some of these guys and slow them down so that we could maybe poach one or two. Ah, they're savage, so they deal... Did I just do it again? Maybe ice skin is not good for savage skin because they don't get stunned nearly as much. And their statue's definitely enduring more pain. Our spiritons are soaking up a lot of damage. Okay. All right, there we go. Lots of spears, but only two sword rat dead. All right, uh, Xenophon is down to about half health. Yeah, he doesn't hold the ice too long. So maybe, maybe you just want to go leaf skin so you can get more units out quicker. Cause this Spearton front line is about to crumble and he is not getting slowed down much at all. There we go. We've defeated the giant. Now we just gotta kill everybody else. Their archers back there are definitely eating us alive. But if we can just win this engagement, we should. There's only three of them and there's more of us. All right, there we go. Now we should be able to mop the floor. They've got a couple defensive archers that they'll have use. Oh, that Spearton could be bad. But they're not attacking, they're soaking it up. Where are my sword wrath? I think this could be one of the easiest ones if we could just use the proper skins. I underestimated the giant. Get him, boys. There we go, we have enough frontline soldiers now to where we're able to counterattack. I'm thinking, honestly, Maybe leaf skins? Skeleton skins are always good because when you die, you spawn in zombies. However, them being savage skins is a pretty decent counter to it. So at this point, we're just going a couple sword wrath. But they're all pretty much dying. Come on. Just die already. Can we hit them? Oh wow, we're actually killing them before they're getting their attack animations, which is perfect. I think it would be the easiest if I was implementing a little bit better of strategies. But overall, a good job. And we got ourselves a chest, which actually brings, me, brings up a pretty good question. We, a while back, did a video where we unlocked and opened 100 chests to see how often we would pull out a skeleton skin, which is this set. And we know that they're adding skins into Stick War 3, whether they're cosmetics or they actually have their functions and all of their little unique abilities, like units that die wearing this armor spawn back as deads for the undead skin. Most OP skin in the game, easily. But if you guys want to see another unboxing video, I've got a... I can get a lot of chests. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.